channel Justin here and today yes I'm giving you guys the long awaited curly hair routine that's been like highly requested all my videos been highly requested because I haven't been on the grid for a while <laughs> but um yeah um as you guys some of you guys know if you guys follow me on Instagram I cut my hair my hair used to be super long and big but I got it shaped at the Diva Curl Salon shout out to Diva Curl I love them so much actually this tutorial today is gonna be nothing but Diva Curl products, so I'm like super excited to share with you guys my curly hair routine. This has been my routine for a while now. Diva Curl comes out with different products here and there, so I like to like mix and match certain things, and then you know I have my personal favorites aside from Diva Curl. But lately, I have been using Diva Curl, and you guys see how good my hair looks. Like it works perfect for any hairstyle. Like as you guys can see, I did my bun just right now. And you guys know this is like my go-to because when my hair is in front of my face, too much is going on and I just like to, you know, have my little pineapple bun. That's like my little signature. So if you guys want to know how I get my hair super curly and super bouncy, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you guys my hair with no product in it and how I wash my hair using the Diva Curl Decadence No Pool and the Diva Curl One Conditioner. So first we're going to jump in the shower and make sure our hair is soaking wet. Again, you guys do not want to put product in your hair unless your hair is soaking, soaking, soaking wet. The way I like to wear my hair is kind of salon style, just kind of putting my hair over my head. Right now I'm just wetting it, but when I go to put product in it, as you guys can see, I'm about to put my hair over my head and make sure all the product is in my hair. So the good thing about Diva Curl No Pool is that it doesn't set up like a regular shampoo would do. Hence the reason why it's called No Pool. Because it's kind of not really like a shampoo. It does everything a shampoo is supposed to do. But without stripping your hair of its natural oils, it has no sulfates in it. Which is amazing for us curly hair people. And again, I'm just going to put my hair above my head and wash my hair that way. Scrunching it up a little bit. But remember guys, you do not want to keep the No Pool in your hair hair just you want to use it and rinse it out as soon as possible so now I'm gonna go in with my diva curl one condition they do also have this in decadence as well but I'm using the one condition today and again just going through my hair root to tip thoroughly and as you can see I have a difference in my curls already just by using the no pool and the conditioner I'm leaving the conditioner in my hair for a while I'm not gonna rinse it out just yet So after leaving the conditioner in for about 15 minutes or so, I'm going to put my hair over my head again and just scrunch up my hair, make sure I'm washing out all the conditioner out of my hair. And this might be a little too much guys, but I just wanted to show you guys how much hair I lose when I usually take a shower or wash my hair. I probably wash my hair like once or twice a week. And now that we're all done shampooing and conditioning our hair, it's time for product. So after I jump out the shower, I use a microfiber towel to wrap my hair up. Microfiber towels are very important when it comes to curly hair because if you use a regular towel, it'll give your hair more frizz and we don't want no frizz at all. So use a microfiber towel or if you don't have a microfiber towel, you can use like a regular t-shirt. I do it all the time. Like when I can't find my towel or I just don't have it with me, I'll just use like a regular shirt that I have and it works the same. Just try not to to use a regular towel I really really want to like encourage that Diva Curl actually sells a microfiber towel I don't have it with me now it, they gave it to me though I just don't know where it's at but um yeah so if you don't have a microfiber towel don't panic you could definitely use a t-shirt and then after this is how my hair looks my hair is already like kind of drying which is like ugh, I cannot like I jumped out the shower and I came in here and it just got like super dry, super quick. I usually add product while I'm in the shower, but I didn't want to do the whole video in the shower because I wanted to talk to you guys and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I'm gonna just like spray my hair. When we add product to our hair, we want to make sure it's making that like sound, you know, like when something is really soaking wet. So make sure your hair is like 
soaking, soaking wet if you're gonna follow this routine for the next step. I'll just like tie this up. And the side. And then I'll just work on like this whole side right here. If it's a mess, if it's a little messy, don't worry about it. The part doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna take my spray bottle. And wet my hands. Oh, that just got me tight. I'll take some of this. And not a lot. It's called Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. And Heaven and Hair, it's kind of heavy, but it works really, really good. Um, You don't want to use a lot, though. So I'll take, like, this much. And just choke it down my hair. And as you could already see, it's already like defining my curl. Like, look at that. Look at this right here. Like, it's already like trying to like scrunch up just by itself. But that's because, guys, you have to use it when your hair is soaking wet. I used to try to use it when my hair was dry and it would be too heavy. It would be like gel. Look at my hair now. I probably missed some spots, but it's okay. I'm just running my fingers through my hair. And you could already tell like how my hair is trying to like scrunch up itself because the product is just like curling my hair itself. It's kind of crazy. So after that, I'm gonna let that sit for a while. Not for too long, just as I do the other side. Just a little bit on my hands. And we're going through my hair. And then after it's already in my hair, I take the other one out. And then I kind of like to do them together. And you could already see, like, it's such a difference between when my hair was wet with just conditioner and shampoo versus when my hair is wet after I wash the conditioner out and the shampoo out with curling product. It's like such a huge difference. To me, at least. Like, this is like... Super defined, super silky. I usually like to do it in a way that my hair falls in the front, kind of like bangs, because then when it scrunches up, I, like when it gets big and puffy, I look like um, BB from the Proud Family. <laughs> so, okay, so we're done with having hair now. Just like scrunch my hair up, so that like this. Other side, scrunch my hair up, sort of like that. Popping. So now we got curly curly hair. I'm gonna take a microfiber towel again and just like dry it a little bit just to get all the excess product out because heaven and hair is a heavy product. A lot of people don't like using it because they don't know how to use it. I remember when I went to the Diva Curl Salon, I told them that I had it but I didn't really use it like that because it's really heavy and they taught me how to use it and now I love it. Like it's one of my favorite products. So. You guys don't want to put too much, and if you end up putting too much, make sure you take a towel and like just scrunch out all the excess because it could weigh your hair down and just like drop your curls. And we want like, so that way we could be like sexy, you know what I mean? So after that, we're gonna take our Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. It's a leave-in conditioner also, again, to help boost the hydration of your hair. You guys always want to use water-based products. We don't like oil, okay? That's one thing on my channel I want to tell you guys. We do not use oils. I'm one of those people that's very like anti oil. Oil is good if you guys have dry scalp, you could use like oils. But you guys remember like in high school or middle school when they taught you like water and oil just don't mix. So if you want your hair really hydrated and you want it to have that like silky like look to it, try to avoid using oils because oil dries up and it'll dry anything. Like it'll dry up anything your skin if you use too much oil your skin will be dry like if your hair if you use a lot of hair oils when it dries up it'll just dry up very coily so I try not to use too much oil um so this is perfect for if you want that like slick look so I just take like a little bit like this and with this I don't separate my hair because I already have um, the heaven and hair in my hair 
So it's not like I'm in dire need of this. This is just to like boost your hair and you know, just give it that extra kick, that leave-in conditioner kick. And then I'll take two more pumps and put it on the other side. And yeah, no difference, no dramatic difference, you know what I'm saying? But again, I like to put my hair in front of my face and we're just gonna scrunch and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. So that's it for our product that we're gonna use when our hair is wet. Now I do add some things when my hair dries up. I really, okay, <laughs> very anti-heat as well. I don't, I usually let my hair air dry, which is why if I'm doing something the next day, I won't wash my hair. I wash my hair when I know the next day I could, you know, stay home or I'm not doing nothing crazy that my hair could really dry. But in reality, it doesn't work like that. People have things to do. So I do understand if you're gonna use a diffuser or um, a blow dryer or whatever. I'm like against it kinda, but for the sake of this video, I'll just do it because I have done it before. And I do like it. I don't have a diffuser now with me. I'll just use a blow dryer, but um, I'll show you guys how it like kinda dries up after I use a blow dryer. Okay guys, so this is my hair almost there. It's almost there. Not really yet, because as you can see, it's still like dropped right here. So we want this up, this up, and then we want our hair a little more defined. So after it's like fully dry, I'm about to add some product into it, but let me blow dry for some more because this is too much, okay? So what I like to use I know I told you guys, oh, don't use it when your hair is dry, or don't use products when your hair is dry. Diva Curl Super Stretch Cream is one of those products that you can use while your hair is like dry, and not too dry, but like, kind of like this, like after you finish like doing your curly hair routine, and you just want that extra like umph. It's supposed to like give you volume and definition without frizz, and I've been using this product for like maybe a month now. I think that's how long it's been out. I'm not 100% sure, but, I love it so much and I've been using it in my hair while my hair is dry. It comes in clutch, I'm telling you, like when you don't want to wash your hair and just like do everything all over again. So you just pop in this while your hair is dry. Oh my god, perfect. So I'm going to just use like a little and just touch up like on my ends a little bit, kind of like scrunching it up. And I know my hair looks like crazy. I look like the baby from the Proud Family. I need another trim. And yeah, like I said, um, Super Stretch Cream is perfect. It comes in clutch when your hair is dry, but you don't want to like wet your hair and do a whole curly hair routine or you don't have the time. Like, just pop in some of this and it's like perfect. And I'm just like scrunch it. I'm actually like a little obsessed with this product. I be using like more than I should, but it's because it's so good. Like it leaves my hair so full and bouncy. Now I'm gonna just take this like wide tooth comb while my hair's dry and be careful of not doing my ends, but like fluffing my hair out on the top. giving it that like volume because my hair like kind of drops on this side I don't know why but um yeah now I officially look like the baby from the proud family I think that's what I'm gonna be following <laughs> So 
that's it for my curly hair tutorial. I put it like up in this like little afro. If you guys follow me on Instagram, again, you guys know I love this style. This is the reason why I cut my hair. So I could be able to put my hair in like this circle fro. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for my curly hair tutorial. I hope you guys found everything that I said useful. And let me know in the comments if you try it out or what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.